Hello Capricorn, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, it is meant to be a general love reading, so we're not resonating with every Capricorn watching. Take what resonates to, for you, what applies to your situation. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Capricorn, please. What is going on for Capricorn in love? This is going to be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Okay, we got the full reverse. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Wow, the Emperor. Two major arcanas right off the bat. Um, the sign of Aries here with Emperor. These are two very different energies, the Full Reverse and the Emperor. What else is going on here? Four Capricorn in love. Wow, the lovers. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. What in the world? Look at this. Gemini energy. You got all major arcanas here for what's going on in this connection. I'm getting a few messages right off the bat. Um, some of you are dealing with someone, <coughs> excuse me, I just lost my voice. Some of you are dealing with someone older, uh, someone in a position of power, possibly supervisor, boss, manager, a lead of some sort. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like someone's taking charge of a partnership. Um, but for some reason I'm getting confused in the sense of like, I don't think this emperor is this full reverse. The full reverse is someone who, uh, doesn't really look where they're going. Uh, they kind of jump into mistakes. Sometimes they take like a reckless risk, right? Like they, they go after something, but they don't really think about it. Um, about the consequences of doing that. And the emperor is not that type of person. So that's why I think there's something else going on here. Now keep in mind, this is what's going on between you and your connection. So this could be all about you Capricorn or all about your person, or it could be a mix. Let's get some energies here, some romance angels to get an idea of what's going on. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. Tell me more please about this connection for Capricorn. me more spirit oh god right there trust the situation is calling for you to have faith and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring interesting um this could be something new for a lot of you here new feelings that you're experiencing um maybe needing to express how you feel or someone needing to express how they feel about you Tell me more. I'm using my Seller Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. Uh, you can get to this by clicking on the link in the description box or checking out my website, interstellartarot.com. Tell me more, Spirit. What's going on here for Capricorn? And then we'll clarify these energies. Tell me more about what's going on in this connection, please. Capricorn. Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Another message I'm getting, it's almost okay. Ooh, taking action, movement, action, courage, time to make a move. Um, the emperor definitely is somebody that takes action. Um, the emperor, typically they do things, you know, without really thinking emotionally. Um, and the lovers is a choice between the head and the heart, what your mind is telling you, what your logic is telling you, and what your heart is telling you. So it's almost like this emperor is torn, or perhaps they're ignoring 
and being reckless when normally they wouldn't be because it this is something new different um let's clarify these energies using this little tiny deck tell me more spirit Please. What's going on here? Yeah. If I can get my act together, that'd be great. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? The magician reverse. Queen of Swords. Interesting. Can you get one more for the Fool? I think this is going to be a very specific reading. We'll see, but I'm getting that. I don't think this will resonate with everyone, but this is the message, so let's see. Three of Swords. And again, the Four of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, there's resistance here. There's boundaries being set, possibly because someone has been hurt. Someone could have jumped into something and got hurt. Um, and now they're holding back or in protection mode. This could be you or your person. Um, what I'm getting with the full reverse of these other cards, there's a new beginning that's not being manifested. It's blocked in some way. Tell me about the Magician Reverse. Or perhaps someone tried to manipulate the situation and it backfired here. Oh no, this is someone that's in love. <laughs> this is someone that's in love, um, emotions. The King of Cups and the Queen of Swords, very different, very different. Um, I feel like this is a connection that um, you, you have very distinct personalities. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, an air sign, Aries or Gemini as well. But what I'm getting here, it's almost like this, this King of Cups is in love. They have feelings for, I feel, this Queen of Swords, or perhaps this Queen of Swords is in the way. Um, and it's almost like it's blocking, this King of Cups is blocked from having a new beginning. Um, I have the Five of Wands at the bottom here. Behind that, the Nine of Swords reverse. Drama, conflict, arguments, a lot of people in the way or uh, like challenges here. Something's like not working out here for someone. Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. It's not, this is about a new beginning. It's almost like someone wants to take action, but they're prevented from doing so. We'll see. Tell me more about this emperor. What, what can you tell me about this emperor? The hangman. Ooh, interesting. Tell me about this emperor, please. Either this is the person you're interested in, Capricorn, or this is the energy that you are taking. Um, taking charge of something here or wanting to take charge. But this hangman tells me there's no action here. And there's another person. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? This could be somebody being held back or feeling stuck, like they can't move or take action. Tell me about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? <laughs> Money. Yeah. 
Okay, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Either um, This person is unable to make an offer. Possibly they don't have the resources to do so. Why, why is this Queen of Pentacles here? The Emperor Reverse. They don't have the Queen, the King of Pentacles here. Okay, so the plot thickens. Um, typically the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, when they come out like this, it's a married couple or a couple in a long-term commitment. And then there's an Emperor Reverse. This is someone that feels powerless. And that makes sense because I have the hangman here. So this is someone that doesn't have the resources to get something done. Um, doesn't have, uh, feels powerless or like they don't have the confidence to get something done. And it could be because of another commitment. It could be because of finances. A lack of stability. But I'm starting to think that a lot of you are dealing with some sort of interference in the form of a person. It doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be a parent, a coworker. It could be, um, it could be an interference in terms of like long distance relationships or money. Tell me about the lovers. Cause I want to jump into like how you're feeling about each other. Why is the lovers here? Can you tell me about the lovers? Five of pentacles and the lovers reverse. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's justice at the bottom of the deck here. Libra energy. So justice is here, which tells me something is trying to be uh, rebalanced. Um, something is trying to be fixed and possibly through some sort of action here. The lovers clarified by the lovers reverse. So there's some... There probably was a bad choice made in the past or that someone made that like put them out in the cold. Um, they're missing something now because they have regrets over a choice. Um, and I feel like they're trying to make a new one now. Let's see. Tell me more about the lovers. Again, I get that sense of something backfired here. Someone could be struggling financially. I'm getting that um, it, it's almost like a... An ongoing thing. Okay, so I have the Seven of Pentacles with Temperance was reversed, uh, Sagittarius energy. So something is out of whack here. Something has not come together in harmony, and someone's like waiting for it and wondering if something's gonna work out here. They're like, is this ever going to grow, manifest? Is this ever going to be made right? I keep getting a lot of major arcanas. I have the strength card at the bottom, Leo energy. Yeah, there's somebody here that's trying to take control over the situation or be strong in this in the sense because something is not, not balanced. Um, it could be that one of you is able to put more energy or effort into the connection. It could be that someone has more feelings than the other person, or it could be that someone's free and the other one isn't. So there's, you know, it could be many things, but there's definitely an imbalance here. So let's see, how are you feeling about each other? Let's see, let's jump into your energy. Spirit, tell me how these two are thinking or feeling about each other. What are their energies at this time? Capricorn and this other person. Tell me more about these two. Tell me about Capricorn's energies, please. What's the energy that Capricorn is bringing to this connection? Okay, the mouse. And then the shark at the bottom of the deck. So nervous energy here, anxiety. Um, focusing on the little details. Um, this is someone that kind of scurries back and forth and they're focused on the little tasks, right? Because the big picture is a little too much or um, there's like, there's, there's an anxiety every time I see this card and it makes sense because I have the shark, which is kind of a card about tension. The elephant in the room. Something needing to be addressed. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? <laughs> the deer. Okay. So this is like the queen of cups for me. Love. Beauty. 
patience, intuition, um, motherly energy here. This is how that person is seeing you or this is the feeling they get towards you. Reminding me of this King of Cups. So Capricorn, I have you here on this side. I have your person on the other, but of course it can be flipped. So flip it if it resonates more. Let's get more information here. Tell me more about these two. Tell me more about Capricorn. Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. Interesting. I'm getting like um like flirty energy. Um, like this person makes you nervous or anxious in some way. Um, and it's because you have a lot of passion for this person. There's an intimacy here between you. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are their energies? Victory lap, and I want this one too. Wedding bells. So either this person wants a long-term commitment with you, wants to be successful with you here, or I feel there's a commitment in the way for a lot of you. This person could be married. And I feel like in order to be successful, they're, they're thinking of how to be successful, but there is this obstacle. I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? I don't want to lose you. Can I get one more for Capricorn, please? Oh, I got two more. I regret what happened and I'm taking a risk. Interesting. So this emperor is taking a risk um, due to regrets and fear of losing you. I don't know what happened between you, but this person, I feel like there's a, there's a guilty energy here. <laughs> So this taking a risk, I feel like there's some sort of action this person is planning to take that um, is risky. And if there is a commitment in the way here, that makes sense, you know? Let's see. Tell me more about how these two are thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me about Capricorn's energies. What are they thinking or feeling about this other person? What are they thinking or feeling about this other person? Knight of Coin. Hmm. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is thinking or dealing with here. What are their thoughts or feelings about Capricorn? Queen of Coin. I think they see you as someone stable and grounded here. Someone possibly successful. Yeah, Nine of Coin. I feel like this is how they're viewing you. I'm also picturing, it's almost like they feel like they need to meet you on your level in some way. I want one more for them. Ace of Cups reversed. Tower reversed. Yeah, so this person's heartbroken over the tower. Hermit energy after that. And the Ace of Swords reversed. This person probably ghosted you. Some of you were ghosted by this person. Some The communication stopped. For others of you, this, this person almost like hid. And it's like after this tower fell. Tell me if that's resonating for you, but it's like this person either they broke your heart and they know it or they're heartbroken. So let's see. Let's get more information here. I feel like you're waiting for an offer here. And you've been waiting for a long time with this Knight of Coin. And for some reason, there's drama here. I don't know where this drama is coming from or who else is involved. I'm picturing like multiple people here.
And it's interesting because this taking action, this movement, I don't really see it from your person, but let's see. Tell me about this Five of Wands reverse. Empress and Page of Cups, wow. I think a lot of you are waiting for an apology or this person, um, you want them to express how they feel. Perhaps this is you wanting to express how you feel here as well. Now that the fighting is over, this could be um, an apology. Why is the Knight of Coin here? Knight of Pentacles reverse, exactly. You've been waiting for an offer, for an opportunity, and I feel like it's with this person. And I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe you felt like this person couldn't make up their mind, or you didn't know what to do about the fact that you've been waiting. Like, should I end this, or should I wait? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Tell me about this person. Why is the Queen of Coin here? She showed up twice. Can I get one more? I need to confirm the, the message that I just got. Tell me more about this Queen of Coin, please. Why is this Queen of Coin here? Yeah, okay. So, what I'm getting is this person, um, I don't think they have the strength or the ability to do something about a Queen of Pentacles in their midst. I don't know if this is finances specifically. Maybe someone feels like they have no choice about or are blocked from making a decision due to finances or due to a Queen of Coin as a person. I feel like this is causing delays. The Wheel of Fortune is reversed here at the bottom. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Nine of Coin. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Coin here? Again, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. I think there's, um, Someone needs to break free of something, either their fear, their head, an actual location. This could be, there could be a family involved, but I feel like this is someone that's um, having delayed happiness. Um, this four of wands reverse, this could be um, a home that's not doing, you know, it's not the best environment. Um, there are, there's an instability here. Tell me more about this four of wands reverse. Tell me about this Four of Wands reverse. You know, and I feel like this Two of Swords, this Two of Pentacles, it's almost like this person cannot decide what to do or is blocked from making a decision. And I feel like the Chariot, Cancer Energy, it's delaying everything here. It's almost like someone wants to leave home or move. Tell me more about this Chariot. and come to you possibly here. Yeah, this is someone wanting to move towards a new beginning, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords at the bottom. So if that wasn't clear enough, here it is. This is someone that needs, your person wants to leave or maybe visit you to talk. Tell me about this Ace, Ace of Cups or Reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups or Reverse? Mm. Yeah, they uh, they want to talk to you with the eight, with the page of wands. Either talk to you or take uh, initial steps. Really? Ooh, hold on. I'm picking these up like they fall on the floor. <clears throat> the moon. Pisces energy and the Queen of Cups reverse. More heartbreak. <clears throat> I feel like this is communication that you don't expect with the moon and the page of wands. 
It's like you don't really see this person communicating or you don't see this happening. Um, or this is a secret. Like someone's keeping secret that they want to talk to you. Or that they, this is someone making moves in secret as well. Because the Page of Wands could be like a planner and they usually are like the fool or similar to the fool. They like to um, take risks and, you know, make things happen. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, so this could be like a surprise communication of some sort. Maybe even a surprise visit. Let's see where this is headed. I'm going to pick a couple of cards here for the near future. What's going to possibly happen in the near future. Why can't I hold on to my cards? Um, and then we'll take this to... Well, actually, I'm also going to pick a Guidance Oracle for you. Where is this headed for Capricorn, please? Okay. Five of Swords. What else? Oh my goodness. So we have the Queen of Pentacles again. Third deck. And this time the King of Pentacles is reversed. 